Hey guys, it's Erin with Hand Stamp Style and today I'm going to share with you how to make um, this adorable little, um, you could use it for a couple of different things. It could be a photo holder, you can set it straight up like this and put your photos in um, from the top here. Or you can put um, a magnet, I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute, a magnet on the back and use it as a um, uh, like a fridge magnet that you can actually clip things to, which I love those because I'm always having to put like papers and things on the fridge. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to um, to make this today, and they're super simple. And I use the um, let me get it here <clears throat> the Reason to Smile stamp set, which is on special right now um, during the month of July, and um, you get this set for just five bucks once you spend fifty dollars. It's a great deal. So anyway. Um, what we're going to start out with is a piece of pink pirouette cardstock and a piece of, um, what is this? It's a brand new color. It's primrose petals. Yeah, primrose petals. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the outline flower image and I'm also using the primrose petal ink and we're going to stamp that image onto the lighter um, cardstock just like that. And then we're going to take our one and three fourths inch circle punch, and we are going to punch out our flower just like that. And then we're going to take the two and three eighths inch scallop punch and punch out a scallop circle just like that. And that is, of course, using our um, Primrose Petals cardstock. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of snail <clears throat> on that and center my circle just like so. And then, let's see, I've got some of this tinted dazzling detail um, and I shared a video on how to create this on my YouTube page so you can you can look for that. Um, I believe I did the video back in, gosh, March or April. So you can look up. I got a lot of um, different things there on that page. And I'm just putting a few embellishments around the edges of my scallop. Then I'm going to take one of these, um, what are they called? My In Color Dahlias. I love these things, they're super cute. And this is also the um, Primrose Petal um, color here. And I'm going to put a glue dot on the back of my Dahlia and I'm just going to place it right in the center and push that down. And now I'm going to show you how to make the actual the clip. So what I'm going to do is, let me just close my ink here because I'm done with that. And I, I made all of these and then kind of set them aside so that they could dry, which they'll need, you know, probably about 15 or 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes to dry, depending on how thick you put the dazzling details. And so what we're going to do is take our marker and we're just going to color on top of, and you can see these are used um, clips. I had something else attached to it, but that's okay. You're going to cover it so it won't matter. And you're just going to cover around the edges. and you're basically going to cover the entire area and I'll just show you a little bit of it um, how you would do it. In fact I'm going to zoom in here so that you can actually see how I do it.
Let me show you the, I've already finished a green one here. So you can see I've done this green one and I have covered the entire thing with glitter. And then what I did is I came back and I just put a layer of crystal effects on it so that, whoops, so that it would um, kind of seal it and keep it protected. Um, and it also gives it kind of a smooth finish, so it's not as um, rough as it will feel once the dazzling detail dries. And um, that, and that's basically it. This is just a really quick, simple project um, for you to create. And then, of course, when you put your magnet on, I always like to put a piece of, oops, a piece of um, sticky strip on the back of the magnet. I don't need nails anymore, so. Just like that, and it helps it stick a lot better, just a lot more securely, just like so. And then you can use that on your fridge or maybe your filing cabinet, um, really anything. If you made like a metal message board, it would be adorable for that. So I hope you guys give this a shot. Um, super easy to make and there's a lot of um, additional coordinating items that you can make to go along with it so give that a try and thanks so much i'll talk to you guys soon bye